Welcome back into the Coach's Corner. I'm joined now with Graham Miller, the women's soccer head coach, Stevenson University. And Coach, uh, take me through some of your thoughts from last week. Yeah, I think it was uh, it was an interesting week. You know, we came off you know that tough loss to uh, you know Gettysburg and St. Mary's the week before, and uh, you know we had to change some things up. So you know we went with a, a little bit of a formation change, and um, you know we we were really excited about you know the two games that we had you know last week, and and they were both tough. You know, starting with Catholic, and you know Catholics, you know they were three and zero coming into the game. They're um, you know regionally ranked, um, so we knew it was going to be a tough game, and and you know we just started slow. And, uh, you know, down 2-0 at the half, but we, we figured some things out at the half. And, and, and really, it was a great effort in the second half. You know, mm -hmm. we ended up losing that game 2-1. and um, But it wasn't for lack of trying. You know, we hit the crossbar. A goalkeeper made a save in the last minute. And, uh, you know, I was proud of the way the girls, you know, responded after mm -hmm. a poor first half. They really came out and, and they're starting to click a little bit better, which is good. So it was, it was, a, t it was a tough one to take, you know, because I thought we could have won it or at least tied it up. But um, it was good that we, we definitely, you know, could see a good performance. And you use a little bit of a, you know, a short memory, you know, kind of forget yep. about the game, move on to Frostburg State and get a good result two to one against them uh, with a lot of great scoring chances and more finishing. Yeah, and that was the thing. You know, we talked about it last week in the in the coach's corner that we did have to have a short memory after that that, that rough performance against St. Mary's, and they really did. And, they, and even you know at halftime of the Catholic game, they really you know settled down and, and get into a rhythm for the second half, and we outshot them. And uh, you know, and then Frostburg came in on Friday, and, and you know with a one day rest, and and we were excited for it. And and the girls really you know put the loss to the last three losses behind them, and, and came out on fire. And it's the first game we've since our first since our home since our first game. Game that we uh, outshot the other team, um, 21 to 11. So, uh, very impressed with the way they came out. And uh, yeah, you're right. We had a lot of chances, and um, it was just, it was good to get that win. And now, looking forward to this week, Salisbury coming in, of course, on Wednesday. Um, and then you talked about getting on top, scoring early. Uh, how important is it going to be to do that or at least have the shot advantage in this Salisbury game? Yeah, and that's what the, the big thing with the Frostburg game is we came out, you know, with intensity. We came out with, uh, you know, passion, and, and, and we had a great start. I mean, we had so many shots in the opening period, and, you know, to go in at halftime with the lead was the girls felt good about it, and, uh, you know, we're going to have to do that again. Salisbury's a very good team. Um, you know, they don't lose too many games. Uh, they're actually their first loss on Saturday just came to Catholic mm -hmm. uh, in overtime, 3-2, um, so, so they're going to be a tough team, and and we've lost to them the last three years, so we need to uh, we need to start fast, and we need to get a goal if we can early, and and then I'll help us settle down. And and you know, being back at home again, you know, it's going to be great to, to to be there on Wednesday. And home again on Saturday with Haverford coming in. Yeah, and Haverford, uh, you know, they've only lost one game so far, and their one loss to was Arcadia, or uh, MAC Conference foe um, Arcadia, who are 8-0, I think, right now, 8 or 9-0 right now, and uh, were receiving votes last week. I'm sure they're going to mm -hmm. be ranked this week since they just beat uh, number 14, Ms. Recordia. So uh, Haverford obviously has a good um, good start to the season, and, and uh, we lost to them 1-0 last year, so another big game for us on Saturday. And then rounding out this home stand before moving out onto the road and into conference play, how important are these uh, last few home games going to be for you with that crowd out there? Well, you know, that's it. We've we got to get on a roll before conference play. You know, we haven't done that. I'm hoping that, you know, that win on Friday will help kickstart us in these last mm -hmm. three games at home before we before we get into the conference. And, you know, with changing things up, we're just trying to get in a rhythm. We're trying to gel a little bit better. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited to see what we can what we can do on Wednesday first. Great, and good luck, Coach, on Wednesday with, with Salisbury. Thanks, Joe. He's Graham Miller. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Coach's Corner.